Goat Creamery. Happy Goat Creamery is a channel featuring 20-ish La Mancha goats that live in the Missouri Ozarks. And they contribute to the channel by um, sharing their hand milking videos, soap making videos, and even just being goats videos. The website that accompanies this channel has a lot of information on La Mancha goats and their soap packages. There are a lot of La Mancha milking videos because it takes a lot of milk to make a lot of soap. See? That's milk goat milk math right there. Happy Goat Creamery also shares goat information for those interested in owning goats. Occasionally, some of her goats go up for sale and YouTube is the first to know about it don't care about goats or goat byproducts. Happy Goat Creamery also has bees. I mean, they don't milk the bees, but they are totally crushing the beekeeping. Okay, okay, that was in poor taste. But if you've ever seen someone care for their bees so much that they put them in the house with them in the house, yep, she moved her beehive into the house. Happy Goat Creamery really is that channel that's dipping its feet into the quirky waters. So if you like goats, especially La Manchas, with a side of bees, Happy Goat Creamery may be the channel for you. Slow Living Jane. Say what now? What exactly is slow living? There are many interpretations of slow living, but the one thing they all have in common is consuming less and taking a slower approach to everyday life. And Slow Living Jane shares how she builds her life around her diagnosis of myalgic encephalomyelitis, or chronic fatigue syndrome for those of you who haven't had your morning tea. On top of that, Jane also shares what slow living is like for her in the Netherlands, where she cherishes every single moment of life in a world that sometimes moves a little too fast. Slow living Jane shares her philosophies on life, and she shows the many ways that she finds and celebrates peace, whether through ikigai, which is Japanese for reason for being or finding life purpose, and the Dutch practices of Nixon and Haig, which, you know, they're ways of de-stressing. Slow Living Jane also shares her container garden and some of the things that she does with her harvest. There are a few cooking videos tossed in to the Slow Living mix, along with some comparisons on Dutch living versus Caribbean or American living practices. So if you're wanting to see how someone daily lives as stress-free as possible or how to move out of the fast lane, Slow Living Jane has the channel for you. Time to Shine Homestead. You've seen them around. Shed Wars 21, talking fishing, lots of fishing, catching fish, cooking fish. That is definitely a Mr. Time to Shine Homestead favorite pastime. They also feature their many, many chickens in their videos. Those are the weirdest looking rabbits I ever saw, by the way. But yeah, Issa Brown's Sussex boxing chickens. <laughs> and then the garden. They have um, tons of garden projects on Time to Shine Homestead. And the videos are, that they share, they're very short chunks. So you could take in a... A shot of uh, espresso or something while you watch a video. Sowing, growing, harvesting. Time to Shine Homestead likes to share the moments that sum up certain days in the garden. So if you like fishing and garden and chicken antics, head over to Time to Shine Homestead. La Mancha Goat Madness. Life in the Slow Lane. Lake fishing, gardening, and chicken fun. Are these your people?